Guys, did this really happen in Biggie's house? Oh, Biggie's mansion must be having a lot of fun. <laughs> now, guys, uh, oh, this this one got me at the edge of my seat. I really watched this thing. I really enjoyed this thing, guys. Oh, now wait. I want to I want to spill everything that happened from the start to the end. So don't actually get tired guys uh, just stick to this channel as i'm going to spill for you everything that happened now so guys before we proceed let me just welcome you back again to this channel if you're joining us for the first time please don't always forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't always forget to press the notification bell so that anytime a video is posted you don't miss out the juicy analogy now guys yesterday it was a night of its own in biggie's mansion and guess what? These guys, uh, you know, they have been trying to play several games in the house. But yesterday's games was our. It actually caught me our. And I want to testify that uh, that game was the best game ever. Because now they have played, they have been playing very many South Africans game. And we see they have actually been giving us content. And guys, I can attest that from the men's conference, I think this was the one of the plans that they had. Uh, maybe let's play this game and see who is glued to all. And I think the organizer of this game was very, very strategic. He wanted to know if he's going to draw a lot of people's attention so that we become glued on the television. And indeed, we were glued. I want to promise you that I was actually literally at the edge of my seat. Because yesterday's game, guys, uh, it was all about spin the bottle. So the sp spinning the bottle game was actually played amongst the housemen although some were not playing it some were sleeping some were in the garden they were enjoying themselves but then guys it started all uh, that if you spin the bottle the bottle faces somebody's then you ask somebody to dare do something to you and guys let me tell you it was kisses 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 all over i think from uh whatever just took place recently that is norman proposing to sister mara i think the house also decided to take this to another level so the first kiss that we saw was between norman and yoli in fact they spin the bottle and the bottle faced norman and uh actually norman was asked to dare kiss yoli and they did it for five seconds and you can see guys it was so passionate and two yoli didn't have that kiss alone i uh, she went ahead to have another one with tools and guys let me tell you tools literally kissed yoli they did it actually and they were not doing it the right way and, and from cheers and all those irulations from the housemates i think at some point they were told to repeat it to do it too nicely Be and we could see that uh yoli was actually you know she was shying away because of the cheers and all those from the crowds but and later we saw them doing it nicely and guys they did it passionately and then another one was between Themba and Four. Guys, I've really been waiting for this because for the last conversation that I've just posted between Nale and, and Themba, Themba was asking between, he was actually telling Nale that it's only you and Four whom I can date, who I can date outside the house. And guys, it means this man has been crushing on Four. And they did it passionately. Look at this. Oh, Themba. Another one was between was between Libo and Mfo. I've been really anticipating to see whatever will take place, whatever is going to unfold between Mfo and Libo, because these guys have been having a lot of conversation, night nightfall conversation with endless actions. And guys, it was there. From the look we were seeing it, it was so a long indeed. Guys, I've been holding back my feelings. I've just been trying to play nice to you, but this time I've gotten you. Let me now do it. I've been longing for this moment. Now let me do it. Oh, I, guys, it was so nice. I want to tell you. That was a, 
Actually, it was between Libo and M4. Guys, another one. Don't tire. Don't tire. There's still more to tell you. Don't go away. Another one was between mm. Norman and Thambi. Thambi joined, though she joined late, but then uh, uh, she was told to go and kiss Norman. And guys, from the rush, from the rush, I was like, you know, you girl, please, take it slowly, take it slowly. But the rush was telling that Man, she was yearning to kiss Norman. And another one, guys, was between Dinky and Themba. Guys, we all know that there has been this brewing rift between Themba and Dinky because Dinky was nominated for possible eviction. And guys, we were really waiting for this thing. And Dinky didn't even hesitate. She asked for Themba's consent and literally he did. And guys, hey. They did it. And literally, this particular moment, we saw her removing off her shirts. And, you know, she wanted to do it. I thought at this moment, she was really going to pluck. Hey! Themba's kiss lips. He was really going to pluck Themba's lips. Because the force at which she was actually headed towards Themba, it was uncontrollable. It was not controllable, guys. And guys, look at them. They are really doing it passionately. And there's another one was between Gashwan and Yoli. And guys, something had been brewing between these two guys. Maybe a sheep. Because at some particular moment, we saw uh, Gashwan really hugging. Yoli and really at that the, the laundry area and some moment Gashwan has been so low and it is only Yoli who was comforting him giving him a shoulder to lean on so this particular moment Yoli uh, Gashwan was told to go and kiss his crush and guys I've never known that his crush he, he went he was told to dance erotically towards her and he did it look at that dance look at that dance guys look at that dance guys hoy this is somebody whom you are crushing on immediately they did it guys it was so nice and guys i want to tell you that gashwan has been crushing on yoli at this moment i realized that uh, gashwan has actually offered his art to yoli and yoli you should now accept the love from Gashwan. Uh, guys, I don't I don't really want this man to leave this house this Sunday because I want I'm really anticipating to see what is next. Where are they going to take this to another level? And actually he deserve this. Another one was between Dinky and Norman. And guys, at this particular moment, Norman didn't even wait. He went directly to Dinky and Dinky was like, hey, hey you guy, 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 stop, stop, stop. I'm not very ready. Wait, wait a bit, wait a bit. I get some fresh air. And this man didn't wait. He started kissing, kissing this girl from the head, the neck, you know, all over the body until he reached wherever he could reach. And which we saw. Guys, this one got me out. Oh. This one got me at the edge of my seat. Literally, literally. At some particular moment... Libo was asked to do a three-way kiss. That was, that was between him, Akesha, and Mfo. And we know that there is a, something brewing between him and Mfo. And guys, he had to do it. I only see these guys gathered at one particular moment. I don't know how they were doing it because I've never seen that. I've never heard of that. I don't know how they're doing. So I don't know this mouth was i don't know i don't know guys but then it was fun to them because at some particular moment we had somebody saying that it was so awesome guys another one was between gashwan and akesha akesha was asked to do it guys she didn't even wait for a moment she didn't even wait for the moment of reading of this instruction she just went literally and jumped on Gashwan, and look at how she's jumping. They did it passionately, and she was really, really swaying her behind. Oh, guys, it was... Oh, I don't know whether she has had some crash on Gashwan, but look at how that jumping was all about. And guys, lastly, was between Vino and Akesha. You know, the new guy has just entered, and he was told to dance like a, you know, a magic mic to... The person he was really, really uh, to dare. And look at how he's, he's dancing. Look at how he's dancing erotically towards this man. And that tells you that this man, oh, I didn't know that he had these tricks. But then, guys, that was all about it. The dare game, which you spin the bottle and you dare somebody to do something 
funny to this person. So, guys, some of the housemates were also not doing it. The likes of Nale was sleeping, you know, and he was kind of telling uh, Vino that, you know, it really happened at the best time when I was asleep. I don't want to hurt my boyfriend outside. You know, those fake things. We have seen this guy saying those things. And another one was between Terry. Terry and Sister Mara was not what they were doing. Not there actually, guys. And I don't know. I don't know why Terry was not there. I don't know why. Maybe he's still preserving uh, some of his personal, some of her personality. Another person was Zaino. Zaino was, Zino was not there actually. I was not there. I don't know why. At some particular moment, this guy was telling Big Brother that uh, I really like my girl outside. I don't want to hurt her. And all those things. Hey, guys. You, guy, you, you don't want to hurt your girlfriend. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, it's upon him. So, guys, these housemates had their best time. They enjoyed a lot. And that was it all about this spinning the bottle game. Guys, let me know what you think about this game on the comment section. Uh, and, guys, that was just bye-bye for now. Thank you for... Thank you.